believe this is where it all began for me. Right in this little corner. Now things have changed. Steve. Steve. I'm down here. But oh, I'm I'm over here. Where I'm is over he? here. What are you doing? Oh. I'm I guess you could say I'm reminiscing about something. About boxes? Uh, no, it's just uh -huh. This is Did where you come I... from a box? Uh, no. Is this your homeland? No, I I was built in Freddy Land. By Molten. No, oh, I yeah. oh. that guy. This is where I first woke up when I was at the here in this suplex. Right in this very spot is where I woke up. Not the most flashy spot. It's because when they moved me here, they didn't understand what I was doing with the collection of the glam rock, so they put me down here in storage until I randomly woke up one day. That's a bit mean, leaving you down here. Well, I wasn't supposed to be part of Glam Rocks or the Pizza Plex. Eh, well, my point still stands. But just crazy how many things have happened since then. Fanny, Dylan, Davis, Pat. All the others. Time flies. It seems like yesterday that I woke up and I went upstairs and met my new friends. I don't know how much longer I'll even have. Uh, what do what you? What is that supposed mean to mean by that? Um. Well, it's, it's nothing to worry about. It's just me talking. Like, I don't know, like what my life expectancy is going to be, to be honest. I wonder what is the life expectancy of an animatronic? Don't we live they forever? last longer than humans, that's for sure. Well, I hope so. I don't think you're going anywhere anytime soon, Steve. Well, if you only knew what I knew. Hmm? Oh, I, I was just saying, if only that word. Never mind. Wait, so you guys were trying to find me? I, I was just reminiscing this little spot. I know. Could you believe this little tiny inch right here? This was like my little home for two months. Or was it three months I mean, after you were brought here? I don't I remember. We all start somewhere. Um, Lefty is just. What are you doing? I'm trying to see if I can sniff out the pheromones. You can't even sniff. You can't even smell. Animatronics don't smell. That's what you think. Okay. But they literally Lefty, can't. We can't though. smell. Look, just because you want to be a party pooper doesn't mean I have to be. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we just probably head back upstairs. You sure you're all right, Steve? I just want to make sure. Oh yeah, I'm perfectly fine. All right. Uh, oh. Uh, what are you guys doing down here? Um, well, I uh, was... Steve was all up in his feels. Yeah, we were trying to find Steve, so we came down here. Something uh, like that. Is everything all right? It, no, um, yeah, uh, I was just looking at the old spot where I woke up in. Which Steve is thinks that he's going to die soon. No, it's just, shh. Why would you... I think you're gonna die soon. Uh, well, you see, well, there's a couple things. Um, so do you remember that time I gave my source code to Springtrap to save Molten Freddy, so we could bring him back here? Uh, y yes. So. I think what might have happened when I gave him my code to get molten is that he uploaded himself along with my code. And so when I did an update, he might have um, been brought back in, and is now in my 
whole entire system also um molten's really mad at you for bringing back um these folks by the way i'm sorry did, did you just say that springtrap might be back and you but that's impossible also wait Mol molten's mad at me What did you think would happen? What, what was that? What did you think would happen? I was just... I told you. It wasn't a good idea. I told you they would react like this. I... I, um... You're right. I... I made a very... Impulsive... I made a very impulsive I I made a very impulsive decision that I now seeing I might have should have insulted the rest of you about it and I didn't and for that I I am sorry it's okay. We all make mistakes. Chica should have consulted us before she painted herself that color of yellow. Pardon me? Look, Ouch. Listen. Look, it's 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 a little too much. I may have brought them here and made that decision. And I'll have to live with the consequence that maybe certain animatronics might not be happy about it. Especially Molten. And Rockstar most likely Freddy isn't either. Oh. Okay. All I can really say is that that was probably a very quick decision on my part that now looking back might have not been the best decision. And I'm not saying that you guys aren't you guys over there. Rock stars. Mediocre melodies. That you do belong here. I don't want you to feel that just because I made the decision to bring you back that you feel, I guess. Like we some, have to bear the consequences. Exactly. Or something we didn't Let ask me for. bear the consequences. It's, it's, it was my my decision to bring you here so like it's gonna be too late for that i understand i'm not perfect i can admit that and all i can say is from here on out i'll definitely make a better decision to be more aware of the decisions that i make from here on out and that's all I can say. I can't really apologize because I did bring them back for a reason. Now, going back to the conversation, are you saying, Steve, that Green Trap possibly might be in you? How do you know this for certain? Well, when you were gone long before, remember, before I saved you, I had these security breaches that would happen. I would be glitched and I would turn into something else. That's because of Glitch Trap. I thought we had fixed that, but now I keep seeing glitches every time and I see a figure. I, I can't make it out what it might be, but... I have a strong feeling that it might be Springtrap slowly gaining access to me. And if he gains access to me, it might be too late for me to do anything. I just don't want to turn out like Rockstar Freddy did. And I don't want to hurt any of you. Are 
Are you saying we need to stay away from you, Steve? Well, maybe for the time being, I would just have a more closer eye with me. Just to be uh, safe. For your own safety. Uh, so is this uh, fine? Is, is this fine? Um, I won't take any offense. It's totally normal that you would react this way. It's perfectly fine if you don't feel safe around me. I wouldn't feel safe quarantine. around me either. We, we need to quarantine you. You guys are too close. Get back here. Uh, well, I guess... That's a bit much, you three. He's still Steve. Are you trying to die, Chica? He's if... not a threat right now. He's not done anything. If there's only one way we can be right certain... Now. We'd have to go into your system to make sure he's actually there. What if it's just a random glitch that you're getting from... I don't know. Something. I... Maybe your software's out of date? I hope so. It, that would be the best case scenario, but... I have this dreadful feeling it might be them... Maybe they haven't fully gained access to me yet, but eventually they they might. If you want, I, I can take a look for you. I would feel more comfortable if Molten did it first. And if Molten doesn't find anything or actually help me, then maybe I'll come to you. I... I respect and understand that. I just don't want to see anything happen to you. What is your take on the matter, Freddy? We have to be proactive. <laughs> In the event that this is true, sitting around doing nothing is just going to get Steve killed. I don't want to die. I have so much I want, want to either. do. I have so many things I still need to do. I... But... I can't deny the fact that... If something... Does go wrong with me, then... I need you to promise me that you will destroy me and every existence of me if something were to happen. I, I couldn't bear it hurting anybody else. Not like before with Glitch Trap controlling me. I don't want to have that happen to me again. Promise me. I promise. If something does happen, then I give full permission to exterminate the pest that lives inside me. He needs to die. To. He needs to We're die. Figure this out. He needs to die once and for all. I thought that day we did kill him. Did it... He made us do it knowing that he definitely would come back. <laughs> That's why he accepted. It all makes sense now. I... I promise nothing no harm will come to you, Steve. We'll figure this out together. Because you, Steve, are you're the best of of everyone here, honestly. You're like the beacon of hope. Hope. Hope is just a construct. But 
but I see your point. I guess uh, for now I'll leave you guys to it. I'm assuming Molten's out and about looking for me, right? Yep. Yes, he's really, as Rockstar Freddy said, pissed off. I guess I'll have to face whatever I have coming from him. I'll uh, see you guys later. Be careful, Brian. I'll, I'll definitely try my best. Thank you. See ya. Bye, Dad. So, what now? Um, well, oh, yes. uh, Oh, come on, you three. He's fine. Uh, I guess. I, I just, I don't want to hurt you guys just in case something were to happen. It's all right. Nothing's happened yet. Don't we have some, like, defense mechanisms anyway? So if you do hurt us, we'll clock you. We don't know how they work. Not yet. I'm sure I don't think still they're done on them, yet. Yeah. Yeah. Are you? You seem kind of quiet right now. Are you all right? We were going to fix things. Hope, hopefully we will. Not hopefully we will fix things. It, um, Tired of losing. We're not going to lose anymore. <laughs> you won't lose me, I promise. Good. Like Cortana said in Halo, don't keep a promise you can't keep. Okay, Steve, let's get you back to bed. Oh, my lord. Well, have you never watched the Halo series or played the video? It's actually a really good story and kind of sad. All right, Steve, it's Bingo Night back at the at the stage. Come on. I'm going to rip hey, those butters out of your hand right now. Don't do it or I would cry. <laughs>